Hey everyone, this is Ben back with you in the model shop. Another quick update. Um, sorry my hair is all a mess and everything. So, a couple things we're going to cover here. Uh, the big items, I guess, are we really kind of launched into getting the photo etch detail wrapped up on the lower hull and, uh, and put together as much as I could to try and keep things... I'm trying to keep the build starting out, you know, basically from the keel on up. Um, and trying to put as much together as I can without getting in the way of uh, future parts of the build, but then not putting on details that are so fragile that I risk destroying them during the building process. So we'll look at some stuff on the, on the hull. Um, we'll do some more details on the guns. I found out that uh, <laughs> a big chunk of the photo etch kit uh, for the superstructure, I believe it is, um, actually covers some of your two inch gun or your I'm sorry the five inch guns and the anti-aircraft guns that I've already assembled uh, so I went back and, and added all that detail on there uh, the biggest problem the biggest thing that came up that I encourage everyone to consider uh, if they're gonna build this kit is the general consensus is that this air aircraft this battleship sorry is painted navy blue uh, before uh, it met its end in Pearl Harbor so I had I just wasn't thinking. I went to the hobby store by me. I found some enamel uh, model tester model masters navy blue, and I bought it. It was great. Works fine. I'm happy with it. I used up the whole bottle somehow, and so I was running low. Went back to the store, found two more, and was very careful to look at the bottles, to make sure I was buying the right thing. I came home and I realized I'd purchased two acrylic um, navy blue. I hate acrylic. I know some of you love acrylic. I don't like it. The other problem with it is it's uh, it's acrylic um, satin finish or some, sorry semi gloss, so you can't even get a flat navy blue. Uh, I went online and quickly figured out that the Model Masters navy blue is discontinued, and I just happened to luck out at my hobby shop and they had a bottle of it. Um, you know, some guys got one for sale, uh, a little jar like this on eBay for twenty dollars. Not gonna do that. So. Uh, there were a couple options, and you know, if you do the acrylic thing, it's no big deal. I actually thought about using it. The problem is the acrylic is actually a little bit darker, like quite a bit darker. It looks like a different color, and I thought, okay, well, I'll mix up, I'll add some light gray or white to it that's acrylic, and we'll just use that for the rest of the build, even though I, I don't like acrylic. What I did instead is I mixed my own up. Um, so now I have this my marked up navy blue enamel uh, it's a whole jar of it I basically took some uh, well this is a US Navy blue gray and then added a lot of other colors to it until I got a real close match and, and ironically um, you have to add a lot of red to uh, the other navy blue colors to get kind of the there's, there's like a purple shade in there uh, to get everything to match up and end up with a slightly darker finish. I mean, just 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 that lighter finish than what I had going before. But it's okay because um, I've actually dusted over that stuff and lightened it up and played with it. So pretty pretty confident I nailed the color matching here. So point of all that is, if you're going to do this ship and you like enamel paint, pick an enamel color that's close that you have a lot of and a lot of access to and you don't have to worry about being discontinued because this was almost like a huge headache so anyway enough babbling on uh, let's let's get into the kit and you guys can see what I put together and got got all wrapped up thanks for watching so here we are and basically everything except for the railing on the main deck this level this level uh, minus the guns essentially is prepped now for paint with all the photo etching and everything so just a quick uh, everything that's not painted that looks gold that's photo etch that needs to be painted and we've got our little details here uh, I forget what these things are called interesting that ladder there is a kit provided ladder uh, I had to make up how to fold it to get it to as you can see there stick out away from the um, I don't know, number two turret there. Uh, not as nice as the 
provided photo etch ones from Edward, but that's okay. And in the back here, we've got these pieces are all loose, they're just sitting in place. Some little photo etched details that go on these pieces, these little vents and pylons. Um, here we had a this is a, a trunk vent, a ladder and stuff that went on there. We may fill in some of the, um, you know, that, that little space right there. We'll fill that in. Uh, oops, sorry. Once we get everything painted, got our little cranks and wheels in place here. Uh, another kit provided ladder. So this stuff's loose. It'll come off. Um, I'll shoot it with an airbrush and then the only other item, I, I don't know what these two pieces are called but if as you can see there's a little bit of a gap and I think what I'll do is I'll end up uh, painting these putting them on as close as I can and then I've got some really nice fine putty I might put in there to whoops, sorry, to seal that all up uh, oh, and this piece, this is the projection house. I drilled out those three portholes. Um, I think they look good. We'll, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll paint all this, and then I'll fill it in with uh, window filler, just like everything else. Got our other little crank there. Um, I did not put the guns in yet. I'm going to make that a separate video because there's a bunch of detail or I'm sorry a separate clip there's a bunch of detail there that uh, has to go on those guns some photo etch so so alright that's that's the last little sneak peek here uh, before I paint everything and it ends up looking the same navy blue as the rest of the ship and it may not stick out alright so pressing on so next section here uh, Again, I forgot that this photo etch set, the Big Ed set, came with um, all these little details for our guns. Uh, so I went ahead and pulled them out and uh, put all this photo etch on. Let's take a quick look. All right, so here we are. A uh, couple things on our five-inch gun. Just see, I attached the bases, put the little handles and cranks on them. And our anti-aircraft guns, uh, they receive some railing, a little seat, a handle, a little detail up on the top, and they're all set and ready to go. Nothing on the uh, right-hand side of the guns. I forget, these are 810s, or I forget what they call these, but they're 5-inch guns. They have a name. The base that you see is attached is actually uh, this three piece arrangement here and that was actually kinda hard to do so what I did was um, I took one of these you know just your little suction cup deal but it's tapered and I dropped you know the bottom one on first the second one the third one the holes all lined up put the super glue in and put it together uh, the other thing that I had to do to all of these five inch guns pull one out here as you can see on the bottom the I cut the bottom off, the, the pivoting round part on the bottom there that this would swivel on. They were a lot longer. I took about, uh, I don't know, at least an eighth inch, maybe a little bit more. Sorry, at least an eighth inch, maybe a little bit more off. And the reason was, over here, uh, anywhere that you were to try and slide these guns in, Basically, I could get the gun to come in here, but I couldn't get it to pivot and sit down in the mounting hole. And the reason was that shaft was just too long, so I went ahead and uh, cut those down. The other thing, while we're over here real quick, I did do some extra spray paint detailing along the hull above the waterline to kind of dirty some things up. Um, it's not done. There are areas that, you know, that doesn't look very good. That doesn't look very good. Some of this is a little too um, bright or a little too uh, standout-ish. Uh, but it does add some character that was sorely lacking above the waterline. So this is you know a two or three stage process. Um, if we back up 
from here it looks pretty good it's still a little over exaggerated so what will happen is I'll just take the uh, navy blue and I'll end up lightening softening all these details up uh, the next step in the instructions though all of this detail on the lower decks are basically installed so I'm going to install the guns the five inch guns which means uh, these things have to go to paint next the anti-aircraft guns I'll paint them at the same time get the base coat on uh, these get painted navy blue and then the back half those are usually like a steel color um, the gear plate arrangement I was considering painting those white but I think I'll just leave it navy blue it doesn't really matter you will see them inside of here though uh, I thought maybe it would be hidden detail but uh, you'll even you know even with this covered you'll be able to see inside what's going on so uh, let's see onward and upward here let's go ahead and get all this stuff painted there will be next part oh uh, one other thing so I was like man I'm really forgetting stuff on this page I'll just go ahead and put all this stuff together uh, I didn't highlight this out so real quick peek here um, I forget what these are called but definitely the range finders all together they got little handles on them uh, little ladders in the back and all the doors and that trunk I don't know how I'm gonna do this so that the ladders don't just fall off and disappear on me which I'm hoping I'm sorry I'm hoping won't happen because you know that little ladder down there adds a little bit of detail that handle there's a huge pain in the rear to get on but it's there so I'm gonna do the best I can do the best I can sorry to preserve all that and not mess it all up a um, little bit of a rangefinder detail this is the 5 inch and that's the 12 inch I think that's the way that works so the 12 inch guns and the 5 inch guns anyway uh, let's let's get painting and we'll get back to it here so I skipped ahead a little bit here um, I managed to paint up and install the main secondary 5 inch guns uh, they turned out nice did a little paint detail a little highlighting on them um, a lot of this just kind of disappears after the whole thing's put together but put this top on so as you can see you know I'm glad I put a, the white back there on the wall because you can make out some of this detail but for the most part uh, that's all you're gonna see and that's fine alright moving over here uh, I got the anti-aircraft guns painted up this is just the initial um, navy blue that I mixed up and what I need to do oh, I'm sorry so like areas like right in there you can see the gear mechanism underneath where they tilt up and down um, all of these little highlight areas here what I'm gonna do and what I did before on the 5 inch guns is, uh, that are the secondaries that worked out really well is using like an intermediate blue highlight everything doing like a, a dry brushing on all the little details and that helps a lot of this gun pop out and, and so since these are going to be exposed up on top of the decks um, that's what I'm going to do did some of the, uh, this is one of the direction finders whoops sorry put the photo etch on there and then here's another one I think these are the directional part of directional finders but add all the little photo etch detail I don't know if you can see the little ladder down there that's on both sides until they break off anyway got a little trunk in the back and some doors um, that was all done in an effort like I said to uh, get some of the photo etch done on them. one of the uh, kits there so I could keep track of things alright so these are going to receive some highlight painting and everything like that when they get ready to be installed on the deck uh, next thing here, let's move on to one of the main guns. 
Here's one of our main guns. Uh, not a lot of rocket science here, just installed the main barrels. And then um, we've got some photo etch detail here. Uh, you gotta remove some of the stuff on the tops and bottoms and then you've got your uh, ladders and everything. There's detail that goes along the top here. Some little handrails. I was kind of saving that until I sorted out how I was going to paint the top of this red. Uh, I am going to shoot this entire thing navy blue and then go over and paint red on top of it. I think that will be more probably a more accurate representation of what was really done. You know, at some point it was blue and then they probably put the red on top of it because this light gray affects the color that comes through. Um, the barrels fit pretty snugly in here, but they are going to require some adjustment uh, in terms of up and down and left and right, but there's a little bit of wiggle room to do that with. Uh, as you can see, this is just a quick rough throw it all together because that one might not be so snug here. Yeah, this one fits loose over there, but anyway, as you can see, like, they don't just line up perfectly right away. I'm going to have to play with them to get the elevation and everything to match up the way that I want. So, uh, the plan right now is actually to finish one of these and um, get it all kind of together. And let's take a quick peek here. Uh, you have to switch photo etch instructions here. Or photo etch kit, sorry. So as you can see, this is the big egg kit uh, for the cranes. And grab the instructions for the cranes. And next thing you know, uh, we're looking at the main guns. So, anyway, we got these rings in. Um, we removed some of this area. You have to make some decisions about, let's see here, this is turret D only, and this is for turret A only. So make sure you get that figured out, and then you've got your railings that go on. And then one of the guns, I had to figure this out. This is on the kit instruction. It says make hole, choose one, choose one make hole. You know, it's great English here. These two holes they want you to drill out, that's going to be for the catapults, uh, the one that, that goes in the back. So I'll pick one of these and... and uh, drill a hole in. And that's kind of part of the reason I'm doing the guns, like I said, um, one at a time right now, is so that I can keep track of, of what's happening with everything. But these are a fun little kit all by themselves. Um, nothing complicated here. The ladders look really nice. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit for you. You know, that detail, that looks good, I think. Got some little crazy photo etch on the, on the top. Um, nothing too complicated here. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to press on with that. And I think this is my last day off for a little while. I think there's enough material here. I'll just wrap this up, this video up, and uh, let you guys uh, have a nice week while I do some more flying around all over and we'll come back next time when we have more things painted. Alright, that's it. This has been checking out.